Hear what led to a new outrage against the controversial ball player. And Bruce is back. We'll take the front row center for him. Expect fair skies Friday through Sunday with temperatures in the 80s on Friday. Welcome to the Tropical Update. I'm Warren Madden, and we have a couple of tropical systems still out there to tell you about. But first up, wanted to bring you up to speed on the latest from Dr. William Gray, yeah, the uh, researcher at Colorado State University, well known for his hurricane predictions. He's just issued a revised prediction and now has dropped his number of named storms down to, to nine. So now forecasting a below average season totals nine, four, and one in terms of named storms, hurricanes, and major hurricanes compared to the average of 10, six, and two. So we'll have to see if that bears out, but uh, so far, at least through mid-August, it has been relatively quiet, although as Dr. Steve Lyons, our hurricane expert here at the Weather Channel has said often, the first third of the season actually runs from the beginning of June all the way to about this time, if not another week into August. The second third of the season typically runs from mid-August to late September. So we're really starting to get toward the height of the season in an average sense. We'll see if things heat up. Two systems out there right now though, Tro Tropical Storm Cristobal, 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Top winds 45 miles an hour, centered 370 miles east of St. Augustine. Uh, the movement they're placing it east at three miles an hour, but it has been very, very erratic and very slow moving not really making a lot of motion over the last few hours. Estimated central pressure 29.53 inches of mercury. And here's a look at it right now. And we've seen some convection blowing up here on the eastern and southern sides, but the center itself is still fairly exposed and nothing really of any convection on the northern and western sides. So as long as that's the case, kind of hard for this thing to really strengthen a lot. And notice that we haven't seen over the last 12 hours a lot of motion here. Give you a sense of proportion. There's uh, Titusville and, and the uh, Space Coast area. And so if you come out here, it really hasn't moved that much as far in relation to that. So the forecast still wants to take it out to the northeast. We'll see if that changes here over the next uh, 12 to 24 hours as we get more information in from the National Hurricane Center. And here is that projected path still taking it out to the northeast, west of Bermuda. But, uh, of course, if this continues to just sit in place, we'll see adjustments to this as we see new advisories coming down the pike. Our second system is a tropical depression reborn. Yeah, tropical depression Bertha on Sunday formed here off the Mississippi coast, came ashore Sunday night south of New Orleans, but now the circulation has reemerged out over the Gulf of Mexico to the southeast of Galveston, and here it is right here. Notice, though, nothing in the way of tropical, uh, really any, any big convection here, so shouldn't be too much of a problem, at least at the present, though we'll certainly be watching it. Spreading things out, not too much happening here in the tropical Atlantic across the uh, coast from Africa to South America, a few showers and storms. We do have a tropical depression here into the what Eastern Pacific final advisory now issued as Tropical Depression 7E is west of Cabo San Lucas heading into colder waters. Evening Edition is sponsored by The Home Depot, driving down the cost of home improvement. Marty! 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 In a perfect world, your home would get smaller when the kids move out. Marty! Mabel! In the real world, there's Century21.com. The perfect place to find your next home. Where are you? Congratulations, it's a boy. Congratulations, it's a girl. Congratulations, it's triplets. In a perfect world, your home would grow with the size of your family. In the real world, there's Century21.com. The perfect way to view thousands of homes instantly. Century 21. Real estate for the real world. You know, this room could use some new paint. 
Yeah, I can do that. How about rust? Mm -hmm. No, a pure red with a full finish. Ooh, and that dry brush technique. Maybe a honey undertone. How do I do that? Ah, it's easy. Uh, let's start over here. You know, she said something about a dry brush. It's dragging. And actually, there's a clinic tomorrow. Why don't you come out? And you're going to drag, and you're going to weave. You've got it now. That's great. It's beautiful. It was easy. diabetes, you've probably handled thousands of test strips, but no more thanks to the AccuCheck compact meter. Just drop in a drum containing 17 test strips, press the button, and you're ready. 17 consecutive tests and no handling strips. What could be clearer? The AccuCheck compact meter. Look for the one with the drum. Gateway's new desktops are sleeker more powerful and extremely affordable and right now you can get a gateway 500 se with an intel pentium 4 processor a free cd burner and monitor upgrade for just 6.99 after a hundred dollar mail-in rebate 